What's up YouTube? My name is Measley. Welcome back to another video and today we have our very first game of the APDL Emerald League and today we are facing the Lebanon Little Pups aka Weston. So fun fact, I'm actually recording this after the game has already been played. The reason for that is well, I forgot to record the audio. So, I have the gameplay, however, the commentary that you're getting is going to be me right now after the game, kind of talking about my thought process rather than a live commentary. So, with all that being said, let's hop into the video. Alrighty, here we go, hopping into the game against Weston. So, what I wanted to do right off the bat is lead Glaceon, because Glaceon outspeeds everything with its Choice Scarf, even Cyclozar, by one point. So, assuming that he isn't Scarfed, we thought that it was a great idea to just head on in with Glaceon and just get some damage going off, because Freeze Dry does just does crazy damage to his entire team. Alright, so we are going to rock off with the Freeze Dry, so it actually turns out that he's also Choice Scarfed, so he's going to outspeed us, but Freeze Dry is going to be able to pick up the Oko, so that is really nice. That means that we will be able to outspeed everything on his team with our Alolan Raichu, which will be really nice down the road. So Weston is going to decide to send out his Flamigo, and obviously since we are Choice Scarfed, um, we aren't going to be able to outspeed this thing, so we're going to have to make a swap. So assuming that he goes for a fighting type move here, we have a few options. We could head into Talonflame, we could go into Raichu or Kumfe, um, but honestly, this thing was just doing a lot of damage and Talonflame turned out to be the best bet. And we will be able to outspeed, assuming that he's not Scarfed. So Talonflame was really the best option here. So we're going to make this swap into Town of Flame at this moment and Weston is going to end up going for the uh, for the close combat here. So we got the shiny Town of Flame coming out. Very nice. So yeah, he goes for the close combat. Um, still does a really good chunk of damage. So I really don't expect Weston to stay in here, um, especially since he's minus one in defense and will definitely outspeed. Um, obviously, if he's not running a Scarf, uh, but since the Cyclozar was Scarfed, we're pretty free to assume that nothing else is um so we're just gonna get up a roost get him back to full hp so then hopefully we can get a priority um acrobatics going just in case there is anything that randomly does outspeed us but weston is going to send in the reggie drago um and reggie drago is a super scary mon but we have the perfect counter for it and obviously that counter is going to be Bronzon. Our AV Bronzon will absolutely take hits from anything from Reggie Drago, from Pre Marina, whoever it is. This was Bronzon's job, so we're gonna bring it in here. He goes for an Ancient Power, so that's really nice to know later on the road that he, he has a four times effective move against our Town of Flame. But that Ancient Power was a crit and it did 20 HP, so yeah, I think Bronzon's sitting pretty nice here. Um, so we are able to get a pretty free attack because Reggie Drago can't do much against us. Um, but also Weston can be pretty unpredictable. Um, so we're just going to go for the ice spinner here. If he does swap out, we have answers for other things. Um, so ice spinner is just a pretty safe play. So here we go. He is actually going to go for the dragon energy. Honestly, I expected him to swap, but... He goes for a Dragon Energy, and we're going to get a really good chunk of damage off with Ice Spinner. Obviously, I don't have any investment. I only have investment in HP and Special Defense, so like attack-wise, it's not doing a lot, but that's still really decent chip. Um, so he could stay in. He did a little bit more damage that time, but still not nearly enough to actually take us out. So we're actually going to swap into Kumpei here, assuming that he goes for another Dragon Energy, because it did it decent amount of chip and we didn't get a huge amount of damage off um but obviously he swaps into arcanine here which um isn't ideal we don't have a lot of moves that can hit him for a lot of damage so instead we are just going to head into scrafty um and start getting an intimidate off so we see that he's not clear amulet which is really nice um and he actually goes for psychic veins which is a bit of an interesting choice i don't think there's really anything on my team that is weak to psychic um, I mean definitely on the team that I brought um, so instead we are actually going to start getting up some Draken dances because I'm not sure what he could do against us actually when I was filming this um, I didn't see the only move that I really saw was close combat and I thought that we could take that pretty well um, but then I forgot that uh, Arcanine gets play rough 
So let's see how that goes. Right here, he's gonna head off with the play rough, and that does over 50%. Um, so even with the Intimidates, uh, he's hurting us a lot. And I wanted to keep Scrafty for later end game, and I didn't have a lot of speed investment, so Scrafty is actually not going to be able to outspeed uh, Arcanine here, even after a plus one. So uh, we need to get the heck out of here and hopefully save Scrafty for a later time to get another Intimidate off. All right, so we are going to swap in to Talonflame here, assuming that he goes for another play rough, um, which is pretty understandable since, um, you know, Scrafty just took a huge amount of damage. Um, so we are going to absolutely eat that up as Talonflame. So I was actually scared that he was going to go for a wild charge here, even though we absolutely ate that play rough. And he is minus one. Talonflame doesn't have a lot of defenses. So we are actually going to just try and get some damage off. Um, so we are going to go for the acrobatics here, get some good damage off. I mean, acrobatics is going to do some crazy damage and he actually decides to swap in Reggie Drago and we get a really lucky crit here, um, which actually in the end game didn't really matter because we would have done enough damage to just get another attack off and we definitely outsped, uh, Reggie Drago. So the crit was lucky, but it didn't really matter in the end game. So now he's going to bring out Primarina. Um, so this is a bit of a tough situation because I would like to just get more damage off on this thing. Um, but obviously we have Bronzon in the back with an AV who will just eat any hit. Um, so that's definitely the safer option to go for here. So we're going to swap into Bronzon. So here we go. Swapping into Bronzon. Obviously with the AV, we're taking all of these hits. I'm not really worried about this pre-marina or what it's going to do against us. Um, so he is going to rock off a sparkling Aria, which actually does a decent amount of damage, which shows us that this thing is probably specs. So we're going to decide to go for a heavy slam here. Um, just get a decent amount of chip. Um, cause I'm not sure if he's going to stay in. I really don't expect him to, but in case he does, uh, the heavy slam is going to do about like 30 ish percent, 30 to 40%, uh, which would just be really good for Raichu to get a sweep towards the end of the game. But he is going to end up swapping into Arcanine. So obviously after an intimidate and being not very effective and the zero attack investment that we have, heavy slam does absolutely nothing. So obviously we have to make another swap here. Um, he could go for, you know, something like a Flare Blitz since we're Bronze on. Um, he doesn't know that we're Heat Proof, um, but we have a few different options here. But in the end, we are just going to decide to go with Scrafty uh, because Scrafty is just, again, with those Intimidates, it's really nice to just bring this thing down one stage um, so that my other Mons can take more hits. So he is going to end up going for the Crunch against Bronze on. So that makes me, th I wonder... If he has uh, Flare Blitz on this Arcanine, um, I would assume that he does, but he could also be predicting predicting the Heat Proof. Um, so Crunch is a safe option there, but obviously um, Scrafty is going to eat that up. And now we have the option to make a double into another Mon, assuming that he goes for a Play Rough. So assuming that he goes for the Play Rough, we are going to head into Talonflame um, to eat this hit, especially at minus one. So his Arcanine is going to go for the play rough as predicted. Um, and we're pretty lucky we don't get the attack drop. So now we have a few options here. We could assume that he has wild charge again and make a swap or go for a roost. Um, we could get up a sword stance, assuming that he swaps out. There's a, definitely a lot of options that we could go for here. But in the end, I decide that I just want chip and he actually swaps out. So after that second swap against Talonflame, that really makes me assume that he doesn't have Wild Charge. Um, so I wanted to keep that in mind for later, uh, but we just wanted the damage. So we went for an Acrobatics and he actually swaps into Lapras. Um, and obviously Lapras eats that up because this thing is pretty fat, but that's about like 30-ish percent. Um, and honestly, with um his Yan Mega not being in this game which is the main reason that I brought Talonflame um I wasn't really needing it for later I mean it would be nice to keep against the Flamigo um but I think we have a lot of other answers like Scrafty and Raichu and Comfey for Flamigo um so I thought we were pretty safe to let Talonflame go down and just get up damage um furthermore I didn't want this thing to set up in case it was like a Dragon Dance set that could be really scary from Lapras so we just want to get damage off 
So we're going to head off with the Acrobatics. Does another good chip of damage. Again, just chipping it down so that we can get a late game Raichu sweep. Um, and he also has Ancient Power. So Town of Flame goes down, sadly. Um, but also kind of as expected. So now, again, we have a few options of what we could go into. Obviously, Bronzon is going to take hits. Um, we could go into Comfy and start setting up against this thing. Um, but obviously, we still have the Choice Specs Raichu sitting there um, who hasn't done anything, who hasn't been in the game yet, but we know that he outspeeds everything and everything has been chipped down quite a bit. So Raichu is really free to come in here and just start knocking off some full switches so here we go going into raichu um again we are choice specs and nothing on his team wants to take any sort of choice specs move um so raichu is here to kind of just start doing some crazy damage against his team uh, but obviously i didn't want to be too greedy and start going for thunderbolts um so i'm gonna head off with a bolt switch and just start getting um, some momentum going for us. All right, so Weston is going to get Lapras out of here. Obviously, Lapras doesn't wanna take any sort of electric type move. Um, and he is going to send an Arcanine, which is really great. Obviously, Arcanine is going to take this more than his other mons like Flamigo, Primarina, and Lapras. Um, but again, with the choice specs, we're still doing about 50-ish percent right there. Um, so uh, Raichu is already putting in the work, um, and now we have an Arcanine up here, and we have a few options. He's not minus one for the Intimidate, however, Glaceon is just naturally so bulky, and we still have Terra Ground. So, assuming that he goes for like a Flare Blitz or a close combat or something along those lines, Glaceon we can Terra and go for another move go for a terror blast round and do some super effective damage to absolutely finish him off so that's the idea here we're gonna head into glaceon but here's the thing glaceon's only at 170 hp and we're max special attack max speed um because of the choice scarf we want to just do damage with this thing so it's a little uncertain whether or not we are going to survive this because at base 65 we're not super fast without our choice scarf which is not ideal but here we go we're gonna head in and go for the terra ground terra blast without our choice scarf so we will get outsped but there is glaceon with a big dome on its head and he goes for a close combat and we survive at 35 hp glaceon the absolute tank just eating hits from an arcanine so we're gonna head off with the terra blast and get that damage and obviously take out arcanine so it already took out a choice scarfed cyclozar and now finished off the arcanine so glaceon put in a ton of work this game and now we're free to just go into raichu and sweep the rest of weston's team so he sends in the flamigo here um obviously i don't want raichu to come in on a switch here because i know that raichu can sweep the rest of the game so i want to keep it healthy so the best option here is to go into Scrafty. It's possible that he is co-star and not Scrappy. Um, so we could head off with the, um, get an Intimidate off, but obviously um, he is Scrappy. Very great play by Weston there. Um, so he goes for a Liquidation, which is an interesting choice, um, but we are obviously going to eat that. Um, and Scrafty will get outsped, so I'm just going to head off with a Zen Headbutt, assuming that, yep, we're going to die to a close combat there, um, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But now, he is minus one defense and special defense, so Raichu is free to come in and just start ripping off some Thunderbolts. Alright, so here we go with the Raichu. Again, we are just going to be able to outspeed everything on his team and knock off some Thunderbolts, which should take out the rest of Weston's team, almost in Oko's. So here we go with the T-Bolts. Let's count them off. Here we go, Thunderbolt number one, taking out the kill on Flamigo. And now Weston is gonna send in Lapras and he's actually gonna tear Ghost to hopefully maybe take this hit, but a Choice Specs of Lovelin Raichu doesn't care about Terrestrialization. We are still going to do some crazy damage. So here we go with Thunderbolt number two taking out lapras all right and weston is going to now send in the pre marina his last mon 
Um, and Pre Marina is a bit of a tank. However, it can eat a choice specs Raichu. So we are going to go with Thunderbolt number three, and he actually does survive. Um, however, Raichu is also going to eat the hit. No freeze there. So we are going to rock off with Thunderbolt number four and pick off the Pre Marina and get the kill and get the win against the Lebanon Lillipops. So it was a super fun game against Weston this week. But in the end, we got our 4-0 win for the first week of the APVL Emerald League. And I'm super excited. This is it, everyone. I'm telling you right now, this is the start of the redemption arc. We're going to get our championship win this season. So stay tuned and hopefully we can make it happen.